In this video, I'm going to show you a couple ways that you can make SVG files inside of Creative Fabrica Flow. The first way you can make an SVG file, and that stands for Scalable Vector Graphic, by the way. That just means it's a really big file that you can scale up infinitely large. So these look great on t-shirts, heat transfers, even big murals on the side of a wall. So here's method number one. So you can go here to this vectorizer and this turns any image to the SVG. So I'm on the main page here on Creative Fabrica Flow. I'm gonna click on this vectorizer tool with the koala bears right here. And then from here, you can upload any raster image, like a photograph or an illustration, PNG file, JPEG file, and you can convert it to a vectorized image. So I'm gonna click on this purple button right here, pick image to vectorize. If you have multiple windows open, you can also drag the image into this main window with the dotted line. I'm just going to click on the purple button right here. Okay, and I've clicked on my image from my hard drive and it's now changing this into a vector. So on the left hand side, it's showing me my original JPEG file that I had on my computer. And on the right side, it's now showing me the vector result. And so from here, I can download this now as a vector. There's a little download button on the bottom right hand side. It's a little cloud icon. And when I click on it, it's going to be an SVG file that pops up on my main window. You can see here it's a scalable vector graphic. So I can rename this if I want. I'm going to call it shapes, for example, and then I'll click the save button. Okay, I've opened up Inkscape, which is a free vector software tool. You don't need to do this step at all. I just want to show you that this really is a vector. So I'm inside of Inkscape. I've got my image uploaded and I can click on it and I can see its individual vectors. If I click on a piece of it, you'll see this vector opens up and I can click on the edit paths by node button, which is on the left hand side. And you can see there's a whole bunch of vectors here. I'm going to zoom in and you can see there's now individual vectors that I could modify if I so choose. One thing I do like to do is if you open it up inside of Inkscape and you go back to the selection tool, which is the first tool, if you select the white, that's actually a part of the overall vector design. So you can actually just get rid of this. I'm just going to delete it, click the delete key, and now I've got the remaining shapes as vectors sitting here in isolation removed from the white background. So that's kind of a neat feature as well. It depends on the image that you're working on, but you can remove the background sometimes pretty easily. You can then save this as a PNG. You can simply export it in Inkscape, or you can use it as a vector file. Pretty cool. Okay, the second way that you can create a vector is here under Flow. So under Flow, it says Generate Images with Artificial Intelligence. I'm going to click on this little dragon icon right here. Okay, and now from here, I can type something into the prompt, which is at the top. So I'm going to type in dog wearing a top hat. And over on the right hand side, there's a little icon with a kitty cat face. And you can choose the type now of your render, full render, transparent patterns, or in this case, SVG. I'm going to click on SVG. In addition, you've got this little filter here that's a style filter. And this is like usual AI stuff where you can pick the type of render that you're going to get here. It's like a filter. I'm going to pick magic style. And you can play around with these, of course. And then I'm going to click this generate button, which is this big purple arrow right here you'll see it start to generate down below. And if you get back really crappy results, you can rate this flow either thumbs up or thumbs down. So if you really like the results, thumbs up, obviously. If you don't like the results, thumbs down. Okay, and I really like these results. I'm going to hover over this little doggy here on the left, and you can see there's a little download arrow button right here. I'm gonna click download picture, and it downloads as a scalable vector graphic the same as before. So here I'm gonna type dog and hat, and I'm gonna click save. Okay, and the same deal as before. I'm now inside of Inkscape, and I can see here this is a vector. When I click on anything inside the design, you'll see I can move it out. There's a little piece there that I removed. I can design this now any way I choose because the individual pieces are actual vector files. I can also just select everything by doing Control A, and you'll see all the different individual pieces of this vector. And if I click Edit Paths by Node, you'll see now an incredible amount of individual vector points. I'll just zoom in so you can see these are all individual vector points on this very detailed SVG file. I really hope you found this walkthrough helpful. I love using Creative Fabrica Studio. You can generate all sorts of cool things inside of it. And there's all sorts of features too. I'm going to put a link to Creative Fabrica Studio in the video description if you're interested in subscribing to the Creative Fabrica annual plan or getting anything from Creative Fabrica. Just a heads up, it is an affiliate link. That just means if you purchase something on Creative Fabrica using the link, I would receive a small commission. I highly recommend Creative Fabrica. I think it's a great tool so you can easily create print on demand or any sort of graphics for your personal or commercial use.